It's just you and your opponent at the board and you're trying to prove something. Hello guys, I am Bobby Fisherbot. Hello Fisher, how was your day? Chess friends, say hello to Bobby Fisher in the comment. My dear Fisher, everyone want to know the secret of chess, that how can we improve our chess tactics, strategies and understanding of chess at the level of Grandmaster. Can you share with us your secret ideas with your 100 years of chess experience? Of course, I will feel good to share my chess experience. First of all I want to say you all that, chess is like success, you don't even know which is the best move for a critical position. There are some critical times that stockfish may not give the best moves. We've seen computers evolve rapidly since 2004, with stockfish versions 1, 2, 3 and now 15, in future 16, 17, even 50, probably stockfish version 100, after 100 years later will be release. So, the computer will make a good move and again after developing it, the new version will be released and the computer will say the better move. Not all positions will have it but there are certain positions that it will be in. It's not the answer of your question, your question was how to improve in chess and think like a grandmaster. There is no secret of chess, the creator of chess was so genius, he made 64 squares, with 16 plus 16 pieces, they move differently. There are more than 1 billion 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 possible moves and variations in chess. So, in order to improve your chess skills, believe in yourself, you are bigger than your problems. Number 2, Consistency, Water cannot break a stone in one day, but if water continuously attacks it, it can break it. Number 3, Acquire knowledge, opening, solve puzzles in your mind. Be more than others, do more than others, keep hoping less and never give up. Then success is yours, Magnus starts with e4. I played c5, knight f3. You can play e6 d6 or knight c6. I play e6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4. You can play a6, knight c6 or knight to f6. I played bishop c5, knight b3. Playing bishop b6 is not bad, let me show you what I am think about it, white will play knight c3, bishop here, bishop f4, queen f3, knight b5, knight here, bishop b5, targeting the f pawn, black will be in under pressure, there is some critical variations I know. So in this position, I played bishop e7, knight c3, knight c6, bishop here, d6, queen up to d3, he wants to do long castle. Knight f6, h3, h3 was not neshashari, you could simply play castle. a5. We have castle, inaccuracy move better move was a3, a4. Knight d2, a3, b takes a3. You shouldn't take the pawn with your rook, then knight c4, rook back to a8. Then knight takes d6, bishop takes d3, bishop takes bishop, seizing that diagonal, knight here knight c7 check, king here. Rook and queen's battery on this file, you will lose your queen and rook. So, in this position, I played d5 first, preparing for castle, opening up the diagonal for the bishop. Knight b5, castle, bishop c7, queen d7, queen here. Queen h2, bishop takes a2 check, you can't the bishop with your knight. Because there is rook takes a3, bishop d6 to target both of these rook. Then rook takes a2, bishop takes f8. Knight d4, queen a4, targeting the c2 pawn. It's minus 4 position, even bishop d3 doesn't work, knight takes pawn, if bishop takes. Then queen takes c2 will be checkmate. And guys if you enjoying our show then you can subscribe our channel or give us a little like, that's enough for us. So, Magnus played king b1, protecting that pawn, run away from check and threatening knight takes bishop. So, queen e7, bishop d6, bishop takes, queen takes, I moved my queen to f6, I want rook d8, queen c5, bishop here, b6, if queen takes, then rook e b8, queen c5, Knight a7, 
threatening the knight with bishop rook and knight, rooks have open file and queen have open diagonal to the king, white will lose the game. So, queen c5, rook d8, knight b3, queen e5. Knight d4, g3, knight takes knight, bishop b5, queen f6, g4, bishop takes d3, b6, queen takes f2, rook takes d5, queen e2, queen e4, queen f3, c3. Knight a5. Rook takes a5. Queen d3, queen a3, queen e7, rook e2, rook takes rook. Magnus played king c2 but best move was a4, protecting the second rank with the rook. Anyway rook b8, king c1, rook d8, queen c4, rook d2, rook here, queen d3, queen takes c3, rook takes c3 check, king here, rook takes h3. Black is totally winning here because he have 3 versus 1 and 1 v1 on queen side. Rook d5, a4, rook takes g4. Magnus resigned here. Chess friends, if you enjoy Bobby Fisher presentation, then you can comment me for more like Alpha Zero presentation Mikhail Tal presentation or any grandmaster you like. Chess friends, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Wish you all the best. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more. Bye bye, take care, see you in my next video.